Welcome to our live stream. Today we are announcing the October Art Year, which we are calling Which Word Will It Be? If you would like to grow as an artist and you can't afford an art class, we've got everything you need here at Art Prof, critiques, tutorials, and professional development. For the October Art Dare, we are going to be looking at words. So every three days, we are going to be announcing three words on our Instagram stories. Now, it's not just any random words, because we're going to do a little bit of hunting for those words before we actually begin to interpret them. What's going to happen, I'm going to close my eyes on the Instagram story video. I'm going to choose a word from any book, magazine, or item with text. So you guys have no idea where I might be getting this word. It could be from this fantasy book that was lying around the house. It could be from a song book that has illustrations. Because you know what? Half the fun of this particular art there is the finding of the word. Because I know that we've all seen there's a lot of monthly challenges that are going around. They all have different words for every single day. And that's super fun. But I like this idea of discovering words, just stumbling upon them and thinking about that because there is a certain degree of randomness, I think, to some of these challenges. And so we're trying to make it a little bit richer. So maybe you learn about a little graphic design, you see different images, different formats. I think that would be super fun. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna ask you to create an artwork in response to the word of the day in any art media. You guys don't know, it could be a Kurt Vonnegut short story. It could be the label on a can of, not a can, a bottle of Tums, in which case we get the word fruit. Or could be the back of a ramen noodle soup package, in which case we're gonna use the word soup. Or maybe you're reading a bird watching book. I don't know why. I mean, I guess if you're a bird watcher, then it makes sense. These are just things that I found around the house. And so I like this treasure hunt in a way that we're going to go on for this art dare. It could be something as mundane as these address labels. So that's what I think is really interesting is finding the words, seeing where they're from, and then interpreting them. If you guys want to, you could, for example, interpret where the word came from, consider that. You can also do it as just a standalone word and that's totally fine as well. So we do have the Art Dare Leap and the Art Dare Leap for this month is gonna be to ask you guys to choose one art media for the entire month. Because you know something, I am all for experimentation and I love it when you guys do all kinds of different things. But there is something to be said about the repetition and really spending time with the material and doing it every single day. That's a really different type of muscle that I think a lot of people are not accustomed to. So you can do any art media, but I do recommend that it be an art media that's fairly fast. Like I really would not do oil painting, you guys. I mean, maybe some people can, but it's a little bit of a hassle. Something fast, something you can pick up, probably something portable is another good idea. Like if you have an iPad and you're much better appropriate than I am, that could definitely be a good option. So tell me in the chat, do you guys think you're gonna try this art dare or are you gonna be a trader and do some of the other art challenges? So let's find out where your loyalties really lie in terms of art prof. So for example, with all these words, we get belly, crocodile, fruit, cake, peel, soup, life, and stone. And a lot of this can feel very, very random. And so I think for a lot of people, actually the toughest thing for challenges like this that are based on words is, okay, well, where do I start? Because I think if you don't think about that, it's very easy to look at the words and just think about the most literal thing you can possibly think of. And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with being literal, but I think that a lot of this challenge, a lot of it's brainstorming. A lot of it's thinking beyond the 
obvious because I think for a lot of people, their first idea, it's usually the most obvious cliche one. So I'm gonna challenge you guys with this art challenge for you guys to think beyond your first thought and to go deeper than that really basic, obvious thing. All right, let's see what people are saying in the chat. Looks like Bonte Falls says they're gonna try. BV is gonna do digital. Levi Fiction seems to be promising to try and fail. And Neil, glad to hear you're not an art prof trader because uh, you know there's a lot. Although Sletmir, yes, I know, you're tackling so many challenges. You can only do so many. So of course it's up to you guys, however you want to do. David is saying, I tried the September art there, but couldn't make it because another commitment came my way, but this month. All right, David, we're going to hold you to that because you know what? This is one of those cases where peer pressure can be a good thing, the way you guys egg each other on in the art dares. All right, so here's my recommendation, you guys. Watch this video that we did very recently on how to brainstorm as an artist because this challenge to me it's a thinking challenge. It's not so much about the media. I mean, it certainly can be, but really I want you guys to work harder and to think deeper about these subjects. For example, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of really concrete things that you can do to brainstorm. And honestly, these brainstorming exercises that I'm gonna recommend, they're not time consuming. Okay, a lot of people think, oh, brainstorming, that's too much work. I don't want to bother. Let's just get to the actual thing and then I'll figure it out from there. I think if you guys do a good job with your exercises and the brainstorming, it really can make the final artwork that you end up making a lot, lot more interesting instead of just saying, oh, stone. I think I'll draw a stone. <laughs> Let's see if we can get beyond that super obvious interpretation. For example, Logan is saying, mine's already running with these example ideas. Looks like Emma wants to get back into acrylics. Raphael is confessing, failed the previous dare, hoped this would be it. Looks like AJ is going to get on board. And Darag is saying, maybe split the difference and draw something that fits both all contests. Yeah, I mean, you guys can do this however you want. I mean, my feeling about these challenges is that they're really about community. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. Everybody surrounding around the same prompt, seeing everybody's different reactions, that's really the basis of these types of challenges. All right, another thing you guys can try doing is something called a mind map. These are so fun. And again, they do not have to take a long amount of time. And it's basically pretty much what it sounds like is that you put down couple of words, like you have this word crying baby in the upper left-hand corner. And then you say, okay, what are some words that make me think crying baby? And so you write down some of those words, you end up with this big map. And then you look at the map, you scan it, you see what came out and you ask yourself, okay, is there anything here that sparks some ideas? Because that's really what brainstorming is about. It's about just putting out lots of different options. So Tom is asking, is it one artwork for each word or piece of art for the three words? Okay, great question. That is not you being thick. <laughs> it's me not explaining thoroughly. So basically, it's one word a day, and each word is one artwork. So in theory, if you do the whole art there, you should end up with 30 artworks at the end of the month, although 31 because it's October. So that's what you're going to end up with by the time you are totally finished. Oh, and I like this. Lisa H is saying my hubby agreed to help me brainstorm. That honestly is something that really works well when you can really talk out an idea with somebody else. I find oftentimes when I have to say something out loud, it forces me to think through the idea a little bit more. And also I think putting it down on paper is another good thing as well. So guys, don't do this like brainstorming in your head thing, okay? <laughs> That's really, in my opinion, not a very good idea. So W315 is saying, so do we respond to all three words in one or pick one or do three responses? So the number three, you guys, that's just us releasing three words, three days 
at the same time. Because I know people like to have a little bit of advance notice because if we just did one word a day, it'd be too difficult. So I'll go on and I'll say, these are the three words for the next three days. However, you guys want to change it up. I mean, I don't have any problem with that. Really what we're trying to do, I see a lot of these art dares. It's like a place to start. And you guys are the ones who determine that final destination. So really what we're doing here at Art Prof is we're giving you guys a launching pad. We're saying, okay, here's where you begin. Wherever you guys end up, that's up to you. I think that's really, really cool. Another thing that honestly, I don't think people do this often enough because oftentimes they see a word like the word belly and they think, oh, I know what a belly is, no problem. But the thing is sometimes you don't. Sometimes you make assumptions about words. And if you look up the words in the dictionary, First of all, you can see all the different variations. And sometimes there's like really strange definitions of words that are very, very common. Like I remember I was in fifth grade and that was an assignment we did where we had to come up with these very obscure definitions of ordinary words. And it was very surprising. So I really recommend that even though you guys think you know what the word roll means, you may not really know because I think it's really interesting when you go online and you read about the origins of the word, it's actually very, very interesting. So I suggest that you guys do this because what I've seen a lot with these one word art challenges is people don't do the brainstorming, they just start. And there is something to be said about that. But honestly, I think that all artists can use more brainstorming time. I mean, that is like, think about brainstorming. It's like primordial soup. It's like, ooh, things are, generating and forming, and it's very, very exciting. So don't skip out on the brainstorming, you guys. Really, really important. All right, let's see what people are saying in the chat. David is saying, so do we start today? You're not starting today. You're starting tomorrow, okay? Because today's the announcement, and then I'm gonna give you guys the three words for the next three days. And I like what Blue Will Spirit is saying. I have a 60 page sketchbook, one page for the image, next page for the info behind the image. So that's kind of cool because you have a physical structure that is actually made for the actual art dare. Very cool. Lilac is asking, do we pick the words or does Art Prof? We pick the words, but you're gonna watch us <laughs> pick Well, I'm gonna do it blindfolded, but <laughs> the point is, you're going to watch me try to find the word and half the fun is really that you guys get to see where I get the word. I think that's the really cool thing. Rainbow is saying, what date is day one? Day one is tomorrow. Okay. Today is just the announcement. So we're all going to start tomorrow. Okay. Let's see. Moses says, I'm going to give you extra grammar classes. Um, yeah, you want that? Go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not really good with all that grammar stuff. Trust me. And I would also say you want to do thumbnail sketches. Again, they don't have to be time consuming, but even just like a little bit of meandering would be a really good thing. Alyssa says, I checked Instagram stories. I only see the words for days two and three. There should be three. It's possible the third one did not upload. I will check after the stream when we're in the Discord just to make sure. So sorry about that, but at least you have the first two to get started. And let's see what people are saying about, let's see, time zone confusion. Yep, that is definitely gonna happen. I mean, that's another reason why I wanted to do three words at once because I know depending on where you are, you might get the word at an odd time, okay? So thumbnail sketches and get a sketchbook, put it down on paper, really good habit for you guys to get into. So those of you who have been so lazy about thumbnails, you got to get off your butt and start making these thumbnails. Really, really fun. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to give you the first three words right now. And I'm going to show you what the video on Instagram is actually going to look like. So let's move on. And I'll show you guys the first word is going to be in this video, which is Hiking in Utah. I know, so predictable, but you know, I'm staying with family. They have a lot of books about hiking in Utah. And that is the first word, which is tomorrow. 
Friday, October 2nd. And yes, I know the first day of October is fish. I'm like, how did this happen? Like, I haven't even looked at the Inktober list. I, this is like so eerie. Like, I'm so like weirded out by this whole thing, but you know, whatever. Okay. It's a strange land that we live in. Okay. So Friday, October 2nd, the word is fish. And now let's look at the next day, which is actually from Betty Crocker's cookbook. It's this like really beat up old book with binders in it. And so we are going to end up with the word roll because it's a meatloaf roll. So that's what we're going to end up with. That is Saturday, October 3rd. The word is roll. And I really like this word because like some of the other words I talked about, you could interpret that in a lot of different ways. I mean, it could be like a bread roll. It could be rolling like a ball. I mean, there's a million different things that you guys can do. So Logan is saying the story on Instagram says fish is for tomorrow. What about today? We're not doing anything today. Today's the announcement. And so I wanted to get everybody on board, seeing what to do, and then we'll start fresh tomorrow. Okay. I'm sorry. I know it's confusing. Yeah. Like Bontiful is saying, it's October 2nd here in the Philippines. Yeah. Sorry. Can't really do anything about the funky time zone thing. So anyway, guys, let's look at the next word. So let me go over here and we're going to look at this weird academic book that honestly, I like cannot read this book. Like I tried to read like one paragraph of it and I could not do it. So the word for that book is death. Awesome. I just love how weird that is, that combination of words. So we have the words fish, roll, and we have death. Awesome. Really, really cool. Yeah. Levi Fiction is saying a progression from fish to sushi roll. Awesome. Yeah. That's really fun. If you guys want to try to make those connections between words, I think that would be really, really fun. Okay. So let me show you guys where we're going to put the words so that you can easily find them. Okay. Now, the first place you can check is obviously we'll be posting it on our Instagram story. So if you check our Instagram story, you will be able to find that. So for example, this is what's already in our Instagram story. And if you don't use Instagram, just know that the stories disappear after 24 hours, but you don't have to worry about it because actually what's cool about Instagram is that it actually ends up on the Instagram highlights. So this is where you find the full word list. Okay. So go here and you want to tap on the Instagram highlight. Okay. So these are old Instagram stories that I have stored into the highlights. So you can always access it. Just tap on the Instagram highlight that says October art dare, and that'll work really good. David says, what's the process of coming up with the art dares? This is awesome. You know, something I'm sorry to confess this to you guys, but some of them are totally recycled from classes I taught. Some of them are really random. Like I'll just see something and decide that I want to do it. But actually a lot of them are things that I've done before. And so they're tested and I know they're going to work out well. Other times I'm like, yeah, let's just do this. A lot of the times I run it by the staff because they need to make sure I'm not doing something really dumb, which I am doing pretty frequently nowadays. So I always count on the staff at Art Prof to talk me out of really stupid decisions, which is why I go over everything with them. Okay, now another place you guys can find the full word list is in the Art Prof Discord. So in the Art Prof Discord, there are many channels. If you guys go to the Art Dares channels, channel, you wanna go to the pin post. So let me show you guys where to find that. So in the Art Prof Discord, on the left-hand side, there are all these channels. You want to find the one that says Art Dares. And then when you go to the upper right-hand corner, there's a little pin icon. So you're going to tap on that. And then the pin post is going to pop up. It's going to have all the information that you guys need. So I'll be updating that area really well. Yeah, Inktober. So there's this, if you guys did not hear, like Bean B is saying, why isn't Inktober happening? It is happening, but there is some controversy here. So Ron Nook says, because the creator of Inktober, Jake Parker, tried to monopolize and monetize it, discrediting all the other artists that contributed to the movement. I have not read all the information about what happens, 
with that, and I have not really looked into it very much, but the point is you guys are here and you should do our art dare because our art dare is just better than all the other ones, right? So there we go. That's the most compelling reason to do ours. Okay, now another place you guys can also find the art dare information. And by the way, you guys are gonna wanna stick around because we have a new prize that we have never offered before that I'm really stoked to show you guys. So stick around so you find out what that new prize is gonna be. You're gonna go to artprof.org and you guys wanna click on art dares. And you click on the art dares page, it'll take you here and you guys wanna scroll down. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the past art dares. You can look at any one you want. And by the way, if you're looking for ideas for different projects to do, past art dares are excellent. So that's a great resource if you guys are looking for projects. And actually Bunty Falls says, the fact that these art dares came from actual art classes makes me feel like I'm in an actual art class. Well, cool. I mean, here's the thing, you guys, I've been coming up with art projects and lessons for years and years and years. And I have gotten to the point where I really know when something's gonna work or not. <laughs> I mean, most of the time I can sort of predict, although sometimes I'm wrong. Like sometimes I'm like, this is gonna be an awesome project. And then it bombs with my students. So the point is a lot of the art dares, they've been tested. A lot of them have not been, but a lot of them do. And it's just one of those things. When you're an art teacher, you recycle projects, or sometimes you change things a little bit, like you change the media or you change the format. So there are definitely variations on different projects that I have done over the years. All right, so you're gonna click on the October Art Dare page, which brings you here, and you also wanna scroll down. And you guys will see, if you scroll down, those are the pictures of me finding the words in the books and you'll see I've labeled every single picture with the date and the word. So by the end of the month, we'll have like a big grid of all these pictures and words of all the dates. So this should be easier to look at. I'm a visual, duh, visual person. And so this is the one I would rather look at, but obviously Instagram is also very, very helpful. And then also we really prefer that people submit on Instagram, but if you're not on social media, you'll see that there's a little red button. So you can use our upload form and send us your stuff that way. So that way we get all of your stuff. And Alice in Wonderland is asking, is it all right to just do a few of the words? I'm not sure I'll be able to do a word a day. Absolutely. Do whatever you guys wanna do. If you wanna just do four, great. If you just wanna do three, fine. If you wanna do every other day, let me tell you guys, I have never <laughs> done one of these monthly challenges. I can't keep up with it. Like to me, it's just too exhausting. The idea, like Alex Rowe, who's a teaching artist here at Art Prof, you guys know those like beautiful ink drawings that he does? He did one a day for Inktober one year. And I just was like, oh my God, I cannot wrap my head around the concept of doing one of those a day. That's insane. So Alice in Wonderland, I feel you. I could not do this every day. But the point is, I know that a lot of people are searching for prompts and want to have a launching pad. So just think about us like that. I know that for some people, Inktober in some cases has become rather competitive. People have put a lot of pressure on each other in a way that's not so positive sometimes. So my feeling about the art dare, like Lisa H is saying, participate as you can, don't stress. Exactly. Like if you guys are doing the art dare, and you're stressed, that's not good. In my opinion, that is not the point of the art there. It's just there if you want it. And AJ is saying, this is motivation for me to procrastinate doing schoolwork. Well, I'm not gonna really advocate that, but it should be like Blue Will Spirit says, a challenge, not a burden. It should be fun. And I have to tell you guys in the Discord, people are really helping each other. Tell me in the chat, those of you guys who have been hanging out in the Art Dares channel in the Discord, what has that been like for you? Because I'm not in there commenting all the time, but I look at it every day. I see what people are posting and it's a really encouraging community. Everybody's supporting each other. And so that's why really what these Art Dares and Art Challenges are about, it's just about communities, about connecting with other people, which I think for some people why the Inktober thing was a little bit of a bummer because it sort of was 
the opposite of what it was supposed to be. So yeah, it, this should not be a horrible thing, you guys. Like Amelia B is saying, it's challenging. I'm in school while doing this. So it's pretty hard. You don't have to do it. You know, I, I think it's totally fine. You guys just do what you can do because here's the thing, you guys, I believe in pushing yourself and being ambitious. But I also believe in staying healthy and not driving yourself crazy. It's just really not worth it. So yeah, like Alice in Wonderland is saying here. Awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody is so supportive here. Actually, I like Keith Larson is saying, big brain time, knock out all three words at once, then upload your stuff daily. Not that I would. <laughs> cool. We have some big Discord fans. Discord is fun. Art Dare group rocks. Really good feedback. And yes, Meet Meet, there is a Discord. The invite link is in the video description below. So please join us because it's really, really fun. And Bunty Falls says the Discord server is a really great place to grow. Never expected this to happen, but I'm glad I'm there. And Slap Near is saying it's great to see what people are doing with the dare. Yeah, and especially a lot of people have actually said to me that sometimes they don't want to post on Instagram because there's that pressure because it's public and everybody's seeing it. And you know, everybody gets all competitive about it. But I think in the Discord, for a lot of artists, it does feel a little bit more private. And so when people post like a work in progress in the Discord, it feels a lot more casual and a lot less pressure. So I suspect that's one of the reasons why people like the Discord is because it doesn't feel so public and you don't feel like you're putting your work out there to be judged, okay? So we prefer that people use Instagram to submit. So just tag us art.prof and use hashtag artprofdare and that way we'll see what you guys are making. And Durag says, it's great to get other eyes on your work. Point out all the flaws we skipped in the not <laughs> brainstorming process. Well, you guys should do that. I mean, post your crummy brainstorming sketches so we can all have crummy sketches together and see how other people are approaching it. Because honestly, I'm sort of tired of everybody feeling that everything needs to look great on social media. And so if you come into the Discord, you can feel like that's a more free space. Like Vincent is saying, Discord's so helpful to improve, get a lot of constructive crits, I love it. And Karen says, Bowser gives up deadlines. <laughs> this is phenomenal, yeah. So we have some task maskers in the Discord who will help you guys out. All right, so we also do at the end of next month, we do a featured entries video where we review a whole bunch of people that we select from the pool, people that did the art dare, talk about their stuff. It's really fun. It's so cool to see what everybody does. Here are our honorable mention prizes. Everybody see that prize on the right? That's a new prize. We've never had that prize before. So you guys have probably seen in the past, we have offered my book, which is a very quick read. It's like a little motivational series of essays. You can probably read it in about an hour. It's really, really short. Or you guys can choose three months access to the Discord voice channel, which is basically just come hang out with me <laughs> for 30 minutes. People are on audio. I love hearing your voices. We have so much fun every single time. I usually go in there about once a month. Jordan's in there another month. You guys, this is so cool. Like, oh my God, Cat's Middle School Comic Book. I am not joking. So it's called The Comic Journal of Kathy Rocks. And I'm not joking. She made this comic in middle school. So these drawings that you guys are looking at, she made these when she was like 13. And this is like a graphic novel. Like it's thick. And so you guys are gonna wanna do the art there so you can win this journal because this is just like, Awesome. Like, I think it's genius. Like, Kat is like, I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, of course you are. It's like from middle school. So of course you feel that way. I happen to think Kat's graphic novel, Kathy Rocks, is like brilliant. <laughs> so I would definitely think about winning so you can get this because this is really, really cool. Moses is asking, is it a signed copy? Cats definitely will be. I'm hoping mine will be as well. My stash of books is actually in storage right now, but hopefully I'll be able to get back on top of that. Yeah, you're right, Moses. It should be signed. So yeah, but Cat for sure, you will definitely have that. 
And BNB says, most of what I post on Instagram is just random sketches. No need to worry about things looking bad. I've had friends tell me when they see me in real life that they love my crappy sketches online. Well, that's good. You have good friends <laughs> because other people are not so nice sometimes and rather judgmental. So I'm glad to hear that you have a positive friend circle like that. Now, if you are the prize winner, you can get five months access to the Discord voice channel, or you can choose from a portfolio critique, a website critique, or an Instagram critique. And you can purchase these for a fee anytime you want, but it's pretty awesome to get it for free. So that's what we are offering for prizes. Our prof has a podcast. It's available on Spotify and also on iTunes. And I will be hanging out in the Art Prof Discord in a few minutes. I will be in the post live streams channel. And if you're not in the Discord, shame on you. You should join right now. Invite link is in the video description below. Subscribe to our channel and join the Art Prof family. And thank you to our top Patreon supporters who make everything possible. List is getting longer, you guys. We just love all of you so much for making it possible for us to keep Art Prof up and running. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.